Hello, my name is Alan. I'm a technical support engineer here at PaperCut. This video is designed to show you how you can add users to PaperCut without requiring an Active Directory or LDAP source by creating internal users. Because no user directory exists, PaperCut can be used to maintain user accounts. This is different than trying to use the Batch User Import button under the Users tab, as that will still pass the logon information to the AD server listed in the User Sync section. You can use a spreadsheet application, like Excel, to create a TSV, or Tab Separated Value List, that can be used to import user information, like username, password, email, etc. In this example, I am creating a list with only five users. If you have a larger group to import, it's best practice to initially try with this on a smaller group or subset of what you're going to be importing. This will help you check for errors in formatting while setting up and creating your Tab Separated Value List. After exporting, check your list in a text editor to see if formatting has changed any or added any additional characters to the view. Uh, in the view that I'm showing you here, I have enabled tabs and spaces to show how the columns do not need to line up when viewed in this manner. Once your list is created and saved as a tab separated value, you'll need to enable internal users in PaperCut. Open the admin console and under Options, User Group Sync, you'll find the internal users area at the bottom of the page. Select the option, then delete the prefix guest. There is currently no need for this option while importing your users. You will see that there is also an option to email the confirmation message to users when the account is created. You will need to enable notifications for this function to work. Next, open a, batch com open a command prompt in admin mode and navigate to paper cut, ng or mf, server, bin, and win. Enter server command, space, batch import, terminal users, the directory you've saved the import text file, and then hit enter. Or the command will then tell you when it completes while it's running to check the app log for details. You can also check the users tab to see if your users have been imported correctly. You should see them listed here. You can quickly tell imported users by looking at the internal user settings, where it will inform you that this is an internally managed user and also allow you to change the password now you can import all your users and you're ready to go. This has been a walkthrough of how to batch import internal users for PaperCut. If you have any questions, you can search papercut.com for internal users to see additional information on this process. Reach out to us at support at papercut.com. Thank you.